Hey, yo, yo, doing today, guys? Today's historic brawl commander is Azurek, the Arc Slitch, a legendary zombie wizard that, when it enters the battlefield, if we haven't completed a dungeon called Team of Annihilation, we can return to our hand or to our command zone. We're always going to choose our hand, but uh, when it does enter the battlefield, we can enter a dungeon. So, we're never going to complete Team of Annihilation because that's not the goal is to keep Azarek on the field. Our goal is to basically just keep looping the ETB effect over and over and over. So that we keep going through dungeons and dungeons. So we have cards that can make Azarek cheaper. Uh, cards like Jaws Familiar can make legendary and historic spells basically cost less. So that can make Azarek cost two total. We also have cards like Paradox Engines are Kind of our big win condition, Azarek. Paradox Engine on the field with any mana rocks can basically just allow us to loop over and over because once we cast Azarek, all our mana rocks come untapped. We can bounce Azarek back to our hand, play it again, keep doing that over and over until either the opponent gets up or we just, you know, do whatever we plan on doing. Uh, so we have cards, like basically have an artifact sub thing going with cards like Ugin to make our artifacts cost less, Familiar will make our artifacts cost less, and Boundary Inspector will do the same too. We also have Bantu Monument to make Azurek cost less too. So, it's kind of rampy, and to kind of help us offset whatever our opponent might be doing, we have cards like Crux of Fate, Languish, Revenge of Ravens, Underworld Dreams, to kind of whittle down our opponent, keep us up long enough that we can probably get into one of our win conditions. Another one being Bolas Citadel mixed with Aether Flux. With these cards on the field, we can play cards off the top of our deck with Bolas, paying life for the mana cost. And we just keep doing that over and over and over. And with Aether Flux on the field, eventually the health gain will offset the life loss to where we were gaining more life than we are losing. And eventually, we could even get up to 50 life in one turn, pay 50 life, and deal 50 damage to any target, which when they go right to our opponent. So, it's basically a control deck, so we, you know you have cards like Position, Thought Seize, Power Will Kill, Heartless Act. And uh, we also have cards like Soren. Our Planeswalkers can be another alternative win con, but I don't really see us getting to their minus abilities. It's more going to be on Azarek. So that's pretty much the gist of the deck. If you're interested in playing it for yourself, the deck list will be in the description. Feel free to click on it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them too. And, you know, we're going into a few matches and see how this plays out. So we are going up against the first sliver. So board wipes will be good here. Here's downfall. It's good to see Mystic Forge and Panharmonica is also. We have extinction event. So I think we'll keep this. You know we don't have like anything else really. I haven't played this deck too many times, so maybe we actually want to have more mana rocks in our hand. But I think we can survive. Heartless Act is good. Replicant Ring is good for them. So next time they're probably gonna play the first lever. First lever being odd, so Let's see. They're just damn they're ranking better than we are. So, we're not going to be outdone, so we'll play a key to the archives so we can't get a board wipe in our hand. Get a putrefied. But actually, putrefied does not work with key to the archives. I remember last one time I. or a couple times I picked it, and it just doesn't play. So. Play out Aether Flux. 
keep up cards like Heartless Act and whatnot. They got plenty of mana, they can just do whatever the hell they want, really. This is a really weird first sliver deck. This is, the feel like it's not even first sliver, so it just feels like artifact something. I actually like this, it's something different. Like, even if I lose, I'll keep this game in, just because I haven't seen first sliver displayed like this. So let's see what we want to do. I think we'll go for Mystic Forge. Nothing off the top. So. She's thirst, ain't gonna do it. We'll put a, a stop on our upkeep because I don't think we want to blood cheese thirst. Sliver coming through. Midnight clock. I feel like they have a paradox engine too, probably. Mythos, a copy. Uh, if we can get a Grim Tutor or something, we can search for Lambola Citadel. Drink a bog. There's a Bola Citadel. Do we just not have the mana to play it? I don't think we should, so... Bolus. Add three mana. Aether Flux. Let's create some blockers let's soar in consider yourself fortunate our motives we'll draw a card cast both citadel draw up soar blood Play. for knowledge a fair both trick. citadel Power World Killed. Play out Azeroth. You will scry. Play out Massacre Girl. Get some triggers with Marionette Master. And we'll play Purpose Act. Target our own Master Girl. Gain 11 life. Pay 50. And that's game. We're going up against werewolves. I think we keep this. Board wife will be good. Thought C's turn one is always fun. For us. Ember 
looks like it can be an issue. Get rid of that now. Play out Chattering Augur. Clattering Augur. Get another land. I really want to get off Atherex loop effect if we can. Or at least, you know, be able to play him a lot. One turn. So uh, let's go for Lots Mine, Scry One. Gold still hurt. We got plenty of mana. So I guess we could have played that in Bajuka Bog. They can play out their commander, stack play relics fine. And we get a mind sign either way. So we can make a goblin token next turn. I don't really think we have a need for a treasure token right now. to the archives good for them if they get a future fight that'd be kind of rough get rid of a broken bomb destroy artifact or enchantment and they should have kept that so Azeroth. Take it to her hand. Get a goblin. Play out Azeroth again. Take it back in her hand. And we'll put a plus one counter on Augur. Done with the dungeon here. Got a heartless act to get rid of some of the creatures or crux of faith. We really need to. Seems like it's gonna be a maintenance soon, so this might be a short video. Natural growth, so they're just setting up still. It's all fine with us. Rise of the Dark Realm is very good. So, take it to her hand. Draw a card. Get a Genji. Back to her hand this time. Let's go through the dungeon of the Mad Mage. Keep a heartless act. Let's see. Go ahead and destroy it if we can. They might have a prediction. Stake skin to bow or Tammy Owl's safekeeping. But if it goes through, we can. Yep. So that's fine. We can also board wipe and uh, do right into the dark realms. Frozen grip, it's fine. So have plenty of mana. 
Crap, now we can't ride us a dark rail. Now this gives other creatures. Uh, it has to be in a werewolf form first. Don't have creatures on either graveyard, so I can't pull from something for Junji. Can't make them discard. They are a buck. So yeah, we're definitely gonna want a board wipe. What did these do? Get rid of the two cards in their hand. Make them, then we can board wipe. Crooks of Fate, destroy all non dragon creatures. And we can get a scribe with Arch Lich. See if we can't get a land, and we can rise to the Dark Realms. land. It's not a land. We can't get one. At least we have Solom. Play out the commander. Play out Chromatic Lantern. There's a land. So Rise of the Dark Realms. Card. Wolf of Werewolf. You guys are next Wolf of Werewolf spell, so none of these really do anything. Oh, what? We do have a werewolf now we think about it. So I think we took control. Spells on Trinity. Let's see, we can play solo, get a land, and then we can just keep on looping Nazareth. Play out the song. Celestrious. Get another dungeon. Arch Lich. Make it so that they can't attack. Let's 
sorry, we can just buff up Genji and swing with everybody. Actually, maybe not because they have the lifelink. But now everything flipped. Gain a lot of life here. Or we can just swing him a Junchi. Escape. 